In this video today, we're going to show you how to install one of our PTO drive mulchers or a stone crusher with our unique Atom alignment system. Be sure to look at the operator's manual to review the correct positioning of the Atom bracket. Okay, so let's get started. Find two holes on the trailer hitch bracket that are suitable to connect the plate to keep the ball at the same exact height as the output shaft on the tractor. For tractors that only use a draw bar, we have specific solutions. Just contact your dealer for this. Now fit the atom bracket. Before tightening the bolts, please be sure that the atom system once it's mounted will be parallel to the PTO shaft. The position of the bracket can vary depending on the model of the mulcher. If you see that on the tractor side, the distance between the ball and the PTO output shaft is bigger than on the mulcher side, you can flip the bracket around. In total, there's four positions that can be used to make it as parallel as possible or to ensure enough clearance for the PTO shaft. Now let's adjust the height of the atom bracket before you tighten down those bolts. The center of the ball pin should be at the height of the center of the PTO output shaft. If the bolts are just slightly tightened, you can move the bracket up and down and it'll still stay in its adjusted position. Once the plate's positioned correctly, tighten the bolts. We suggest making a mark between the hitch on the tractor and the plate in case it's dismounted and then the correct position can easily be found again. Now connect the mulcher or the crusher to the tractor as usual by hooking it onto the three-point linkage of the tractor. In the case of a hydraulic top link, all the adjustments must be checked with the cylinder completely retracted to ensure that the distance of the PTO shaft will be the shortest possible. We want to make sure that either the PTO shaft or the atom system don't collide and cause severe damage. On our universal atom bracket, the centering plate can be adjusted, just sliding it in and out, and should only be tightened once the system is lined up correctly. Some tractor models have a shorter three-point hitch than others. In those occasions, the atom system must be shortened just as the PTO drive shaft. Measure the excess of length and cut both the hook and the tube. Make sure all the components are clean and lubricated well before the final assembly. And finally, test to ensure there's no collision between the centering plate and the bracket when the top link is retracted. Make sure all the movements are possible. Okay, not quite done yet. We need to fit the PTO shaft. Now for this next part, we recommend measuring from notch to notch on the spline shafts. The measurement needs to be taken with the top link completely retracted and the machine elevated so that the output shaft on the tractor and the input shaft on the mulcher are at the same height. This is generally the shortest distance. Remember to keep approximately an inch of extra clearance to ensure that the PTO shaft cannot collide even if there happens to be some movement you were not able to simulate in a workshop. Before cutting, ensure also that in this furthest position there's enough overlap on the PTO drive shaft. Fortunately, thanks to our unique Atom system, the tubes will not travel much and it makes it easier to keep the required overlap. In this case, and it wasn't necessary to shorten the PTO shaft. Now grease the PTO shaft and all the spline connections before installation. Fit the protection cover and connect the chains of the PTO drive shaft protection. Now measure the distance between the two PTO shaft joints and put the ball as centered as possible in between the two. Once you're sure you've checked all the positions and it's safe from collision, the centering plate can be tightened. All our machines get inspected and tested before leaving the factory, but we still want you to give a final check and grease the most important spots as these machines have been transported and stored for some time. Now finally connect all the hydraulic hoses and remove the transportation security. Great job, you're good to go. Enjoy working with your SEPI machine.